Welcome back everyone to today's second video and we're actually going to be doing a new type of video for the channel and for today's second video. We're actually going to be doing a historic video for the Beast from the East in um, 2018. So um, a new sort of video, um, a historic video to show you what happened when we had the Beast from the East in 2018. So, uh, I just thought it would be a bit more exciting to show you what has been happening and uh, what happened in the winter of 2017 2018 when we had the, that was the last really very, very cold um, spell we ever had, the Beast from the East. So, we're going to be showing you that today. So, um, this video might be a little bit longer than your normal video because we are going to go from the 1st of December through till the end of March and um, when we had the beast from the east so uh, yeah that's going to be the introduction done without further ado let's get into this right now so um we're going to get straight into this and this is the setup so on the 1st of December as you can see here we have got high pressure to the west um bit of mid-Atlantic ridge, a trough of low pressure dropping down through Europe and we're bringing in some cool northwesterlies right here as you can see um, and the upper air temperatures are looking like that. So it's quite cool actually the minus five upper air temperatures starting to push in the country by this point. We're not going to go in much detail um, because obviously we've got to go all the way through a lot of months so we're just going to go for it. So, as we go into the first week, we keep these cool northwesterlies and maybe not as cool by this point. We actually start going milder from the west at this point, and the Atlantic makes a breakthrough. But we actually start building high pressure um, towards Greenland just here, and we start to drag in um, quite a cool, quite cold northwesterly wind just here, as you can see. So, we got the high pressure trying to get to Greenland. Low pressure dropping south and bringing in quite a cold northerly wind just there. So that is quite interesting um, already. Is this a sign to come in the winter? And if you look at the upper air temperatures, it is going quite cold by this point. Okay, so as we carry on going through to the 10th of December, we actually keep it quite cool from the north there. And then we actually drop a very, very deep area of low pressure into the country and we do um, we do go a little bit milder by this point as you can see there isn't actually that much cold around around Europe at the moment we've got a lot more cold at this point than uh, this year than we, had, we did actually then so the cold really not much sign of it in December but we do pull the wind into a cold northerly uh, into the 11th of December just here and if you look at the upper air temperatures where that is it is cold, but there's not much cold air to the north for us to really get a cold spell um, to get going. But once again, the Atlantic does break through into the middle of the month, but we do go colder again. So it is on and off quite a cold month, um, December is looking like. Um, and we actually do go quite mild by the 20th of December running up to Christmas. And the run up to Christmas um, and Christmas itself is looking like a classic mild Christmas for the UK. But into the 26th of December, we actually drop some low pressure through the country and we start going a bit colder from the north once again, just here, as you can see. So it's actually, there's already signs of high pressure trying to get going towards the North Pole. A little bit of a high pressure towards Greenland just there low pressure dropping south and we're bringing the wind in from the north again so not much easterly is really what we will be seeing from the beast from the east but it is cold but as you can see now there is so a lot of cold there starting to get going to the north now so this is so we are seeing cold there really getting grips on northern europe and greenland at, at this point but into the first stage of january we look like this it's very 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 wet windy and unsettled off the Atlantic, just a classic uh, look for winter for the UK, really. But we do actually, it's just a sign here, you can see we drop this low pressure in and start bringing the wind in from a little bit of a cooler or colder. So the wind starts coming from a colder easterly just here, as you can see. The high pressure 
up here and we actually do we do start bringing a bit of easterly in at this point but not much uh really if we look at the upper air temperatures right here um you can see that we are trying to get the t minus 10 upper air temperatures in but we are struggling as it's not that strong of um, an easterly wind so as we carry on we actually start building high pressure over the country and you can see the high pressure trying to get to scandinavia is that a sign what's to come high pressure actually trying to build to the north by this point and over scandinavia and look at this this is a sign for what is to come in february and march we try to get the high pressure really start going towards scandinavia and to the north as you can see now this sort of really just collapsed because the Atlantic and the polar vortex really starts to speed up into the middle to end of January. But you can still see there is blocking um, signs still around, but the Atlantic just wins the battle like um, um, it usually does. And it keeps these wet, windy, unsettled winds a uh, month all the way to the end of January. So really, January is not very cold at all. There's not much sign any sort of cold until the end when we do go colder and if you look at the upper air temperatures we are trying to get the minus five into the country but still once again it's not that cold in northern europe at the moment and we are colder at the moment than we are at this point in february so it is it quite interesting there's not that much cold around at this point in 2018 but obviously the cold really does get going. So here we go. We'll continue. And as we go into January, once again, you can see signs of that high pressure trying to get towards Scandinavia. Um, just here. So we do get um, high pressure starting to go to Scandinavia. And we do actually start bringing in a colder easterly wind once again. So is this what's starting to build the cold up over Europe? Let's see. So there is a bit of cold starting to get going over Scandinavia, Sweden, Norway, uh, Finland just there. We are getting some cold starting to get going. Some quite severe cold at this point. Once again, you can see that high pressure keeps trying to get towards Scandinavia. And we keep the wind in from the east by this point. And the upper air temperatures are looking like this so we actually are getting the minus 10 in by the 5th of 5th of february and you can see there's a big 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 cold pool now just sitting out to our east as you can see so the cold air pushed out of scandinavia just here um and pulled down into european is that a sign that's going to start pushing in let's see so as we continue we'll go back to the fire on Melbourne heights uh like this we keep the wind in from a cooler direction but then the atlantic breaks through and we start to go milder from the west once again so maybe signs but it's sort of collapse by this point but this is where we get the ssw around here and you can see there's still signs of high pressure trying to still get going towards scandinavia now this is where it gets interesting as we go into the 18th and the 20th of february just here you can see the high pressure is at there is signs of something interesting going on here so we've got high pressure base pla uh, placed over the country just here as you can see so we are still mild at this point but look to the north we've got very high pressure is sort of stretching up towards Greenland and Scandinavia as as you can see it's not very strong high pressure but there is signs of it there if we look at the upper air temperatures now and just look how cold it is getting over Europe as you can see so the cold is really getting to start going over Europe now and all we need is a bit of high pressure up towards Scandinavia to drag this cold air down so once again we're on the brink of very cold by this point. We are actually quite cold at this point, but we're just not getting the severe cold anywhere near us at this point. So as we continue into the 21st of February, this is where we really know something is starting to happen at this point. You can see how unusual this pattern is. 
so we've actually got the high pressure over the country and it looks like it's starting to go up here so it's not really that much of a scandinavian high it's trying to go all the way up there and let's look at the upper air temperatures now and you can see look how cold it's getting over europe just there so we're on the brink of something extremely cold at this point and as we continue the high pressure this is where it gets interesting this is the main bit the high pressure pushes north uh, to greenland and scandinavia right here and this is the proper bit this is the bit where i started to know the beast was on the way so uh, we're going a bit more detail cause detail because this is basically the start of the beast from the east we've got ex an extreme blocking blocking area of your high pressure stretching from the uk all the way up towards the north pole up there very very interesting we've got a trough of low pressure an extreme cold pool sitting over europe let's see what the upper air temperatures look like so at this point it is very 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 cold over europe as you can see uh, extreme it, we are near, we are on the brink of cold already but look how cold it is over europe we went from no cold around in december and january to uh, to an ex extreme amount of cold by this point in february so when the cold should start to be backing off it's only just coming in so it's, it's a very unusual um pattern for the time of the year but this is how the beast from the east happened so we'll go back and see what happens so that high pressure leaps north as you can see right here and then this is where we start to introduce the beast from the east um so the high pressure um is really really strengthening uh, towards greenland and scandinavia and the extreme cold sitting out to our east and over europe and we're bringing these very cold easterly winds in and it's already looking extremely cold by this point. Um, this is all due to an SSW. And look at the temperatures now. We're getting the minus uh, 10 upper air temperatures, minus 15 upper air temperatures into the country. And we're still under high pressure. So what will it be like when we, when we get rid of that high pressure? Let's have a look. So we go back to the 500 millibars and we'll go forward another day and here we go the high pressure is starting to disconnect from the rest of the high pressure what is to the south to us it's starting to settle towards greenland and scandinavia and the wind uh with this high pressure huge high area of blocking up here we've got the low pressure dropping south we've got extreme extremely cold easterly winds coming in uh, from Siberia right there so very 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 interesting um, charts from 2018 as you can see I'm going to show you the upper air temperatures looking like this so look how cold it's getting now we've got the minus 15 temperatures in and the, the minus 20 is is very very close to us so extremely cold by this point as you can see so just continue into the strongest part of the beast from the east. Just look at this. This low pressure here slides through and this is when it really gets cold just here. So this is the situation with that high pressure strengthening over Greenland and Scandinavia. This low pressure drops in and we start to bring some gale forced easterly, southeasterly winds in. And some of the air originating from all the way up here um just to note by the way that's why it is so cold with this cold pool there's no way out the high pressure is blocking it from going up there um it's the cold pool's stuck in here and it's just going to keep coming in like that so this is a very very cold pattern and uh, very very rare and we don't see them much these days at all the upper air temperatures start to look very, 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 very cold. We've got the minus t upper air temperatures nearly at minus 20 at this point, so extreme cold. As you can see, that cold pool um, um, dropping in to the UK at this point. Also, I just want to show you that look at the look at the how the coal has been sucked out of um, northern. 
at Scandinavia there. This is where the cold should be towards Scandinavia, but instead the high pressures blocked it and pushed it down, and that is why it's so cold over Europe and the UK. So it's very, very cold by this point on Wednesday the 28th of February. Usually by this time of the year we're starting to see spring, but at this point winter was only just getting started really, and it, this is what it's gonna, the pattern's going to look like for quite a while. So once again, for the, into the opening days of spring, the 1st of March, we actually start to try and get the upper air temperatures up. We're still looking at minus 5 and minus 10 for a lot of the country. But as this, these mild, this milder air pushes up into that cold air, we see a lot and a lot of snow uh, by this point. So we'll keep going forward. And as you can see, these easterly winds just keep on uh, coming in. The, the cold is sort of backing off now by this point but still very very cold a lot of wintry showers around and a lot of snow on the ground for most of the country and at this point we're still very blocked as you can see we'll go more in detail on this bit so I'll go a bit more in detail on this bit so we've got an area of low pressure in the Atlantic trying to make it milder but it's getting trapped by um, this high pressure up here and a little bit of high pressure here and we're still bringing in them easterly winds just here so this produced a lot of snow as well as um, the precipitation uh, moves into the very cold air just here the upper air temperatures once again they're trying to go milder but with how cold it is on the surface I would think we'll keep it very very cold and wintry by this point as we keep going through into March we actually do start to back off so the main part of the beast from the east, east has ended here and we're actually going milder from the south. But don't click off the video yet. That is not it. The beast from the east is going to have another go. So we actually go milder from the west by this point. Then we see, but then at this point we even start to look at that pattern again. So low pressure to the south um, and high pressure starts to try and build over Scandinavia once more. Um, by this point, the heights really start getting ra rose again to the north, and we slot the wind back into a very, very cold easterly. And it looks just like the beast from the east, but later into spring now. So, r right in spring now, 17th of March, and it's still snowing with these charts. So, we'll show you how this happens. Uh, so, we've got the high pressure to the north once again, we've got that cold pool sitting over. Here, bringing the wind in from a very cold easterly. So obviously it's not going to be cold at, as as cold because the cold air will be retreating all the way up to the Arctic by this point. But as you can see, the upper air temperatures dropping once again down to minus 10 or maybe even minus 15. So it's getting back to how it was when we had the beast from the east. And we keep the wind in from the east, as you can see, very, very cold. But temperatures, obviously, you can see the cold air is retreating up to the Arctic Circle by this point. So we are getting minus 5 and minus 10 into the country. So still very cold. And then, finally, high pressure breaks in. Still cool. But as you can see, here we go. The the Is this the time for spring to start to break through? And yes, it is. The Atlantic gets in. And we we still got trying to get high pressure going to Scandinavia, but at this point spring's getting going. Um, a lot of showers, and that is it really. But it's still signs of it, trying to go cold, even to the end of March, as you can see. So it, March is a very 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 cold month, really, um, as you can see. And this is it now. Spring's in, winter's over, and the beast from the east has disappeared for for the winter and we're still waiting for it to return to the UK but one day it probably will we will have another cold spell but we don't know when it's going to happen so so yeah very very uh, interesting charts to see these days as we don't um, have any events like this often at all these days but you know it will happen again one day. It could happen this winter. It could happen next winter. It might not happen for another five years. But it will. Um, so thanks everyone for watching. And 
historic video for today's second video, the beast from the East 2018. Um, yes, thanks everyone for watching. I'll definitely do more historic videos. I can do some of the coldest decades ever, the winters of 1940s, 1960. I can do Christmas blizzards, all of that. Whatever you want to see, um, I can do. So thanks everyone for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.